what's going on everyone back here with another video and today we're finally going to be going ahead and starting the build of a 32 core Hackintosh. So what we've got here is obviously the HP Z840 which is the basis of the build. Two W7000 graphics cards, um, storage, CPUs, and RAM. Starting with the graphics card, we've got two Radeon W7000s. Uh, these are not going to be what's going to be ending up in the final build. This is just a placeholder to get everything up and running. Um, we're eventually going to be switching out to something different. I haven't really decided what graphics card I actually want to do just yet. Um, and what I, whether or not I want to do one or two of them. But these are just going to be placeholders for right now until I figure out what graphics card I actually want to do. So... Next up, we've got the NVMe drive of choice. We've got a silicon power uh, two terabyte. Yep, there it goes. Silicon power two terabyte drive. Uh, nothing fancy. Just gonna be holding the operating system. I honestly could have got away with the one terabyte, but you know, I was just like, why not? So you can put a two terabyte in here. Moving on over to the processors. We've got two Xeon E5 2698 version threes. And we've got two of these, 16 cores. 32 threads a piece for a total of 32 cores and 64 threads at 2.3 gigahertz um, now for these processors I wasn't really too sure if I was going to use these or step up to the version 4 um, I think they're 2697A version 4s um, I decided to go with these because these are really cheap these are like $40 a piece so $80 for two processors versus $200 for, for two processors so Maybe if the performance isn't that great, we can upgrade to the version 4s and see what the difference is. But for right now, 2698 version 3 is going to be the way to go. Next up, we've got memory. Um, in here, I've got 128 gigs of GDR4, 64 gigs for each processor. And I've got, so 8 sticks in total. GDR4, DDR4, 2133. So 8 sticks times 16. It was 128 gigs, eight st uh, four sticks of CPU, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the basis of the build. Uh, I do have some other parts that I have laying around. You can kind of see in that corner over there. I've got a oh, it's flipped upside down. This is the HP six fan shroud. The fan shroud that is in there right now is a HP five fan shroud. So we're gonna be swapping that one out since we have the dual processor. And we've got both fans. And like I said, I'll show you the uh, other shroud once the, uh, we start taking things apart. Also, an additional heat sink because this only came with one. Um, as you can see, the heat sink has some thermal compound on it, but we're not gonna be using that at all. Uh, it's not gonna focus. Yeah, we're not, not going to be using that thermal compound. We're going to be scraping that out and uh, using some Noctua compound. So, I guess we can go ahead and get started now. Um, this machine is pretty much going to be as configured with the exception of the graphics card. Um, the graphics performance, I'm not really super, super worried about. Um, the, you know, the whole, I guess, purpose of this machine is, you know, how much CPU compute power we can get for the money. Um, graphics performance, like I said, we can go as crazy as we wanted to. We could put a uh, you know two Radeon 7900s in here if we really wanted to, but we're not we're not going to do that. Um, you know, graphics performance on these these Intel machines you can actually add. So I'm not really using it as a metric for right now, but um, in the future, why not? But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started putting all this stuff together. But yeah, as you can see, we're back in the Z840. Now I'll go ahead and pop off this cover here. Pretty sure. Yep. So this is the first air baffle. Just goes on the bottom there to cover up your PCI cards. And then we can go ahead and remove the top part right here. So as you guys can see, this one is missing the fan. So we're not going to be using this. And inside is our motherboard, our single heat sink, our covered up socket, and all of our empty RAM slots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started removing the heat sink. I think we've got a processor underneath there, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do. So let me get a screwdriver and get started on that. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and removed the CPU, um, the CPU cooler. Uh, I was having issues with the torque socket. 
not Torx. Yeah, I guess it's a Torx bit or whatever. Um, I was having a little bit of issue, so I just went ahead and did that real quick. Um, just comparing these two heat sinks, these are pretty much identical. It just seems like this one's a little bit cheaper of a build, so uh, this was an eBay heat sink, so hopefully it'll do a pretty good job cooling these, cooling these uh, CPUs. So uh, I'm gonna clean this off, off camera. Um, we're not gonna be using this thermal compound, so it makes no sense to leave it on there. But there is our old CPU. We've got a CPU cover right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out real quick. Um, to unlatch it, we're gonna do this one first, I'm pretty sure, because this one's the lock. So we're gonna undo that and undo this one. And should really just pop this back the way out. Just like that. And I have no idea what CPU this is, but it's a CPU. <laughs> so go ahead and let's throw the new CPUs in so we can get that out of the way. All right, so we got 2698 version three, number one going in. <laughs> it's not gonna focus. All right, 2698 version three, number one going in. Uh, gonna line up the pin with the one on the motherboard, the little arrow. Got one and one right there. And go ahead and drop her in ever so carefully. A little wiggle, make sure it's in there. Close down the lid. I'm gonna go in reverse order this time. So number one's gonna be the locket, and this one's gonna be the locket on that side. All right, so that's one installed. Let's go ahead and get the next one in. And go ahead and lift this up gently. Make sure we don't touch any pins. We go very slow. And then this is number two, 2698 version three, number two. So let's go ahead and get this guy lined up with the knots on the motherboard, which is over here this time. So we're gonna position it and carefully place it down. All right, Put a little wiggle, make sure it's good. And to lock, we're gonna do this one first, and then this one last. All right, and that's our CPUs installed. Now we can go ahead and move on to the memory since we're already here. Um, so memory configuration in this, let me go ahead and refer to the side panel. So it looks like we're going to start at the black slots. We're going to do black slots all the way across. So let's go ahead and start populating memory. So I got our sticks here I'm using eight sticks total. And we can go ahead and pop down the slots on this. Bam, just like that. And we're done. So that's our memory installed. I'm going to go ahead and clean the heat sinks off. And I will be back when that's done. All right, we got the heat sinks all cleaned off. Got our knock to a thermal, thermal compound right here. <sighs> All right, we got the thermal compound. We've got our heat sinks all cleaned off on the bottom here. So you guys can see. All right, and I'm pretty sure these go in this direction. I'm gonna double check that before I do that, but I'm pretty sure they go in that direction. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put our thermal compound on. I like to do the X method for these CPUs. All right, and like I said, you don't have to do the X method. That's just the way I've been doing it for a long time. I, that's that, and now we go ahead and put on the heat sinks. I'm gonna put this one back on here. All right, and this one. Oh, 
Oh, oh, yeah. All right, so first things first, gonna go ahead and put in our graphics card. Um, I'm just gonna do one for right now. I'm not gonna do two. Yeah, one for right now should be just fine. So I'm gonna undo this here. Pop this out. Like I said, only one graphics card for right now. Uh, this is temporary just to make sure the system works. Um, I'm probably gonna end up doing like a 6800 XT in this system, so that's that. Um, I'm not 100% made up, but my mind is not 100% made up, but I have an idea that's probably what, I'm, probably what I'm gonna end up doing anyway. So, all right, and that's pretty much it for the PCI cards. There's not, there's not really a whole lot. Um, you know, we've got dual gigabit NICs on this machine. We've got, um, loose. Not used to that being that loose. Um, but yeah, SSDs in, graphics cards in. I'd say we're about ready to go ahead and power this thing up. And so let's go ahead and hook up to a monitor, put all our shrouds back in and see what it does. All right, guys, as you can see, we're all set up on the test setup. We've got a test monitor, keyboard, and mouse hooked up to the Z840. So let's go ahead and see if it powers up and everything's recognized. All right, we've got display. So let's go ahead and get into the startup menu so we can make sure everything is there. Uh, didn't want that, but it might go through anyway, so let's see. Apparently this has a um, LSI RAID controller and it's pretty cool. I guess it's built into the motherboard, I guess. Pretty nice. Okay, so we're in. Let's see system information. And I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let me move this ever so slightly forward. But you can see we've got both 2698 version 3 CPUs registering. We've got 128 gigs of RAM. So we are good to go, ladies and gents. Um, so I guess now we can go ahead and start the install process. So that is great news. Um, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just running some benchmarks. Um, just to make sure everything's running properly on Windows, maybe Linux. Um, and then I'll go ahead and start the installation process. Um, unfortunately, the W7000 is not supported on Mac OS Ventura, which is the latest version. So we're gonna have to do the initial install on Mac OS Monterey, then upgrade to Ventura once I get the actual graphics card, which is gonna be a Radeon 6800. So that is it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.